This short tutorial is about how to get correct star colors using a G2V white point balance for your RGB filters. If you buy a Canon or a Nikon DSLR camera, you'll have a number of settings that tells the camera which light source it should use to capture as white. So it has several white point options to make that white source white. We need one too in our astrophotographs. Since we define sunlight as white, we will use a sun-like star that we will actually measure with our telescope system. Our star is a G2V star, therefore we will look for another G2V star in the sky to get our white point balance measurements done. Therefore, it's going to make any sun-like star in our images white, like our sun. So where are these G2V stars? One way to get a database is to go to my website here at www.astrodon.com slash products filters e-series and in the upper right hand corner you'll see a link and you can download this database that will go into software BISC's program the sky and you'll have a series of G2V star locations throughout the sky. So you'll add this G2V database to the sky. You'll select a G2V star such as this one here where it's identified by its RA and DEC coordinates. You'll slew the telescope there and you'll begin to take a series of short exposures. This is how you measure a G2V star. You'll go with your red, green, and blue filters. You'll take equal exposures, typically two to five seconds. You'll make sure that you won't saturate, so you'll make sure that you won't be above 55,000 or so counts. You want to make sure that you're pointing your telescope fairly high in the sky, above 65 degrees elevation. And you will use, as we'll show you in a minute, the intensity parameter in the information window, which is right here, in Maxim. And this is what we've done. We've clicked here. And what this information window is doing is it's calculating the total flux, the sum of all the ADU counts in the center area, subtracting from it the average of the counts in this outer annulus, which is a measurement of the background, and it's giving you an intensity parameter. That's the total net flux of that star's light coming into the system. In this case, it's 271,919. So you do that for all three stars, the red, the green, and the blue, and you'll write down what these values are. A little bit different for the green, a little bit different from the blue. The next thing you'll do is to divide all these numbers by the green value here. So you'll see 27,919 divided by this value of 245,591 to get a value of 1.11 for the red. Obviously green divided by itself is 1 and blue divided by the green value is so close to 1 that we're just putting it as 1. Therefore, for this telescope system, this camera and these filters, your RGB combined weights for equal exposures would be 1.11 for red, 1 for green, 1 for blue. These are astronaut filters. They were designed to be as close to 1 to 1 to 1 as possible. And remember, this is a system property of your telescope, your filters, and your detector, and the elevation of your target in the sky.